I just shot my shot at this little dot. I'm trying to create it now. Yep. What's up, YouTube? You already know what it is. Young Cat TV, aka Cal. We'll be back again with another banger video for y'all. As you see by the title, I'm basically about to teach y'all how to edit y'all pics, how to make them look fire, how to make them look vintage a little bit. I'm about to just give y'all the whole sauce, the whole drip. You feel me? I'm about to show y'all what apps I use and all of that. So make sure y'all stay tuned to the end of the video. Watch the full video, yo. Watch the full video. I have been trying to create a name for y'all because I don't want to call y'all fans and I don't want to call y'all supporters forever, you know? So I'm trying to make us like a little family, you feel me? Speaking of family, happy Thanksgiving to everybody that is watching this video, all my subscribers. But yeah, we about to get into this video. I'm not trying to make this too long. Follow me on the gram at TV and subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Be more active. But uh, yeah, let's get it. Let's go into this video. Let's go. All right, y'all. So we about to get into this editing these pics. All right, let's go. So as you can see, it is called Lightroom. You can download that on the App Store. You know, click it, Adobe Photo Lightroom, that's what it is. Oh, the picture pops up here, as you can see. Um, now, as you can see, my girlfriend did an amazing job taking pictures. Make sure y'all have a great camera person, y'all, because the pictures will not come out fire if you do not have a good camera person. You gotta make sure they hit the right angles, all of that, basically, after taking the pics. I usually hit auto, but I'm not gonna do it with this because it already has has nice lighting so I'm gonna leave that there um, I'm gonna go into lighting right here and I'm gonna like mess with the exposure a little bit see what I want see how I want it really I'm going to do 50 right and then I'm gonna go to contrast you know see how I want this this makes it look a little bit more detailed I can tell there honestly I would take it to at least 15 y'all don't do too much 15 for right now highlights let me see and i don't really use highlights like that but if i was i would go to at least like 10. not gonna do nothing crazy with that um now with shadows i do use shadows it makes the picture a little darker as far as like your clothing it makes it darker um so i would recommend that if you want a darker look i would do at least 20 20 is pretty good um, now for whites, it makes the whites pop more. It makes it like more shiny and stuff. So I would do, if you got like white shoes on as me, I would do like 25. Don't go too overboard. Now for blacks, like dark colors, it makes this pop more if you go this way. So I would recommend this if you want your, your clothing to pop more. Um, I would do like 45 for this. Now we're gonna move over to color. This is what I do, okay? You don't have to do this, but I'm showing y'all what I do. Um, I, I do do temp sometimes. I am going to do like 50, I think 50 is, no, 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 not 50. I'm gonna do 40, 40 is pretty good, and then I'm gonna go to tent. Um, I don't really use tent that much, but if you want more of like a unique color, I would do tent, but I'm not gonna do that for this one. Um, oops, I ain't gonna move that. I'm fucking up, y'all. Fucking up. Now we're gonna go into vibrance. Why do I keep touching it? Now we're gonna go to vibrance, and this basically is like a scale to make it either you know more dull or to make the color pop more. I actually like the vibrance though. It, um, it's unique. I like it. I'm gonna use it a little bit. I'm gonna take it to like take it to like 25. 25, not bad. I'm gonna do 25, then we're gonna check out the saturation. Um, saturation, I actually am gonna do this. I'm gonna do 15. There we go. Now we're gonna go over to effects. Now effects, it makes your, it makes your pictures pop a little bit more. It adds more detail to it. Um, as far as texture, it makes it, you know, I don't, I don't recommend doing texture a lot though. It makes it look a little grainy, but if you like it like that, then, I mean, Go ahead, by all means, do what you gotta do. But I'm gonna do it to like, I'm gonna do it to like 15. I'm not gonna do it that much. Then clarity makes your picture a little darker, like I said before, and it makes it pop a little bit more. As you can see, I'm gonna do at least like 45. I love how it makes it pop. Um, Dehaze, it, um, it darkens a lot of the clothing in your skin. If you follow me and you wonder why I look so dark, this is probably why. Now for, I don't know how to say that. I'm gonna just say vig. This is like a shadow. 
it gives your picture a shadow type look like at the corners here and at the corners at the top i actually like it it, it makes it seem like the like the camera focused on you and like isn't really worried about what's on the back but yeah i use that sometimes now for this i don't really use it as much except for the grain maybe if i want it to look like a more of more of an like old picture i would use it all the way up to 100 but right now i'm not going to do that i'm going to do a next picture and i'm going to show you how to do the grain or whatever yeah now we go to detail this also helps a lot now for sharpening i don't recommend doing it too high because like i said it makes it look a little grainy if you don't want it that way then don't do it but if you do by all means go ahead detail i do use detail a lot it makes it pop even more um, so I would recommend like 50, 50 is pretty good. And for masking, I do masking until like 30, 30 is pretty good. For, no, 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 25, 25 is cool. Now for everything else, this noise uh, reduction, it um, actually takes away some of the, you know, graininess. But I, honestly, I don't really use it that much. I probably use it to like, like five. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave it. I'll leave it the way it is i love how it looks right now um now for contrast it doesn't really do anything now for all of this this doesn't really matter i don't really use it um let's see yeah i don't really use that i don't recommend it if you don't like the way that looks honestly this is pretty tough though it makes it look like a lens type of look so if you want it to look like that i recommend it but other than that yeah it's done now we're about to save it and we're about to see the difference between the one that i edited before and the one that i did not edit all right so let's go takes a little while mind your business mind your business mind your business so this is the picture that i saved well that i took and this is the picture that i edited it looks pretty good see i'm fire i'm i'm lit y'all i got y'all i got y'all all right, so now we're gonna go into the other app that I use. It's called Vesco. I'm about to show you how it looks. This is how it looks. You can find it in the app store. Now we're gonna click it and we're gonna edit this other picture that I took. Now we're gonna press edit. All right, now for this, um, some things you do have to buy, some things you do not. You can look for help if you don't really know what presets to do for your picture. You can pick for this photo and it basically helps in like, tries to look for presets that look best for your photo i mean i don't really use it i usually go for what i want i don't really you know care for what they like whatever but um i'm gonna look at some of the presets see what fits best for my photo or what i like the best and then i'm going to edit it for y'all show y'all how i edit it um honestly i low-key like this i'm not even gonna talk to y'all and I'm gonna make sure the strength is all the way up. Now I'm gonna go into the editing. Don't worry about this. This, um, I'm going to crop this out. You can crop that out. It's not, screenshot it and crop it. It's not gonna mess up your photo. But yeah, this is the exposure. For the exposure, I'm going to keep it at like a two. I don't want it to show too much. Now for contrast, um, I'm gonna actually make it a little lighter because I want it to give, I want to give it a vintage type look. So I'm gonna give it to like a three for the contrast. Now for sharpen, I'm gonna sharpen it quite a lot cause I, like, I want the details to be seen. So I'm gonna go to at least like six. I think six is pretty good. Now for clarity, I'm going to do clarity a little bit too. I'm gonna do a lot of clarity probably. I'm sorry if y'all hear like crying in the background. That's my fucking sister. She's making me mad because now I just want to be loud while I'm recording. But clarity, I'm going to do like, I'm going to do like 4.5. Do 4.5. That actually look really tough. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, saturation, I'm going to do. I'm going to give it a little color. I'm going to give it like 1.3, 1.3, not bad. Now for tone, highlights. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like that. To actually give it like a little darker. Now for this, is if you wanna give it like a more lighter look. I kinda like that lighter look, to be honest, than the dark look, so I'm gonna try that out and make it all the way to 12. Now for the white balance, this is just temp. You could change like the color, like the other app. I don't really change it that much. Um, I change it to like three, like a little three. Now for tint, 
I don't really change this too much, so keep that at zero if you want. Now for skin tone, this makes your skin tone pop a little bit more. So say if you're like my color, it makes you pop. If you're not my color, then it's not gonna make you pop. But I actually like how the floor looks here, so I'm gonna keep that like 5.0. Yeah, actually, it's really nice. All right, so this big, the other app actually has this big. Um, like I said, it's for making the corners and stuff more darker, so it gives it like a focus type look. Um, I'm actually going to make it go all the way up. No, 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 I'm going to make it to like 10.0. 10.0. Um, we're going to get to the green last. We're going to do fade. Now, if you want your picture to look more faded, more of an old type look, then you can go all the way up. If you do not you want it to go, you know, you can go down. But for me, I'm going to do at least 4.0. I like the 4.0. And for split, you can change the color of it. Like, you know, I don't usually do this, so I press X. I don't want to do that. Now, this, this is, you don't need that at all, honestly. Um, now for green, you can if you want it to be like a crazy green look, you can go all the way up. If you do not, you can have like a little bit. I usually go to like 6.5. I think that's cool for me. And then um, I go back into one of the little, you know, effects and I screenshot it like that. And then I crop it and it's going to be perfectly fine, guys gonna be perfectly fine press done save it to photos now you can go back into lightroom take that picture that you just edited on vesco right go into your camera roll um screenshots because obviously you screenshotted it and we're going to make the details a little bit more sharper ever since you screenshotted it so it won't look like you know like a piece of shit so we're going to do that and then we're going to add a little bit of masking for this i just made it up to like can do it to like 40 sharpening you can do it to like seven don't do it too much like i said now just save it now we're about to see the finished product so this was the before right now this is the after so guys please let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below i really hope y'all like this video um i'm gonna do more if y'all want more i can show y'all more more presets that i use um and how i basically tweak them to make them look a little bit different than everybody else's photos or whatever and yeah you know comment like subscribe obviously um more videos coming soon just stay tuned share with your friends follow me on the gram at young cal tv we out we out cal mafia we out this day <laughs> Alright, I'm a fuck with you. Alright, bro. I'm a dad like this. I'm a dad like this. I'm a rat like this.